Get on and go over to John Clark in the commentary box. And so we reach the climax of the Riviera Cup. The final is just about to start between Sean Casey Enjoy sitting on the there. left uh, from okay, Dublin absolutely. in Ireland against Nodar Gagua, uh, originally from Georgia, yes. uh, currently roll. living in Moscow. Nil-nil, there's the first roll of the match. And with me in the commentary now, box, one, uh, as I ever, have I have Carter Matig, one of my favorite American players. Hi, Carter. Hi, John. It's great to be here at the finals, even though these two guys have killed off both my ponies in Ed O'Loughlin and in Peter Heidmuller. So I don't know who to root for here. Um, do you have either of them as a particular favorite, uh, uh, Carter? Uh, I kind of like Sean Casey. I've seen how he's handled himself. But uh, Nodar's, Nodar's a great player, and he took out Heidmuller, so I have total respect for him right now okay well they're both settling into um, the start of this long match and uh, they have both played uh, under the lights and the cameras um, earlier in this tournament obviously being in the final they're both unbeaten they're both cashing heavily um, but there's still a 50,000 euro first prize up for grabs here Carter yeah that's not a trivial amount here it's uh, definitely it's definitely worth winning. So I'm, uh, I don't know who to pull for here, John. I just yeah. don't know who. Oh, okay. nice hit. Hidden down still. Pretty much an even game, this one. Each of them feeling the other out. I don't think these two players have ever played before. <clears throat> Sean is the only Irish, he was the only Irish player from, uh, from directly from Ireland, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Uh, the only Irish player and I don't mind mentioning a little anecdote of when he uh, came bounding in at the start of the tournament and uh, he came up to me, uh, I've known him many years, and he said, uh, uh, Hi John, how are you doing? Um, um, how's everything going? I said, Fine, Sean, but are you the only Irishman here? And he said, Well, we discussed it in Dublin and we decided that we only needed to send one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think he's a little tongue-in-cheek, but... Uh, the moment, uh, uh, let's say 50% of his prediction has come true because he's only got to he's only got to win this match to make it completely come true. Um, no doubt, Gagiba playing nice the checkers very fun. smoothly with a double five doesn't <laughs> plod around the board, just straight in and hits his opponent. And Sean Casey playing equally fluently. Make his three points, and he will run off the anchor. Excuse me, off the five point. Fanning, what a bad idea! Oh, uh, fan! This I is this is a cube. Surely this is a cube. This is definitely a cube here. Okay, he's 70% uh, to 30%. Killing he's him in the race. Must have a few gammons here. Killing him in the race. But it's a take. Well. That gap on the five point <laughs> makes it a take. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no longer a gap <laughs> on the five point. Very nice roll for Sean here. But there is still a number of ways that Gagua can win this game. Uh, he basically needs an ace to make the two point. Yeah, two four back game is pretty strong, isn't uh, it, Jim? And uh, two four back game is terrific, Carter. Uh, uh, as long as it's well timed, and if he rolls the ace, I think this will be reasonably well timed. But it's it's not an ace. Five three. I don't agree with this play. I think he should have made the three point. Yeah, he's got to slow himself down a bit here. He duplicates his own ones this way. Sean knows it. Well, even an ace here and play a 4-1 back game. Oh, you don't want to cock <laughs> your you don't want to cock your aces in that position, uh, no doubt. No, he re-rolls an ace and that's a fine shot for him. Makes the second anchor. Is he going to have enough time for this game, John? Uh, nope. This all depends on uh, well, this is a shot. Mm -hmm. It's not just a shot. I think he keeps uh, the same one going and duplicates the aces. 
he does. I think he can time this game, uh, uh, Carter. If he doesn't roll too big here. Like 6-4? Six 6-4. Four. Six four. <laughs> well, a 6-4 is not too big. No. Oh, covered and down. Covered and down. Still, if he, if he can hit this and cover one of his blots, he probably will. <coughs> of course, it will be his choice of whether he hits if he rolls a 5 or not. No, not that 5, though. 4-1, he just makes both points in board. And gets ready and hopes to hit a shot in the bear off. Oh, there's a shot. And there it is. And that's the worst possible number for Sean Casey. Not only all the 5s, but 6-2 as well, 3-2 as well, and 4-1. And 6-3 is a missing number. He was about even money to hit that, Carter. Yeah, that was going to be a crucial roll. And, but he's still got some dangers here, Sean. Even now. 4-2. He'll play that in. And I'm sure he'll take a checker off here. Right. He can't afford to script those high points too early. And he does indeed take a checker off. Well, that's and a little now. breathing room for Sean. He's got to run with one. Hmm? Oh. 5-3, he'll just take two checkers off, the 5 is forced, and once you play the 5, you can see there's only one way to play the 3, um, other than the suicidal play. <coughs> is that for my benefit, John? 4-3, oh, clearing the 6, is huge. Top point, he wasn't by any means favorite to do that. Nodar must be starting to worry about the gammon slightly here. He's still got three checkers to bring down, and his oh, shot, shot equity has receded a lot. But there it is. He's left a shot, and this could well be a winner. Hits. He comes in and hits. Nice roll. And with the five, do you advance the same checker, Carter, or do you come up I the do. ace point? I do. I don't need to give him any kind of weird double two joker. Okay. Advances the same checker. And now it's. Sean Casey. 2-6 from the bar. The <laughs> nice very call. best number he could have rolled. Perhaps, perhaps even better than 2-5. And 5-2. No doubt prepares a reception committee for that sole <laughs> red checker coming round the board. But Sean Casey will be looking for an 8. He finds a 9. Okay. Uh, leaves 7s uh, and 2s. I think 16 shots here. <coughs> Needs to hit this two, and he, and hits, he it. hits it. And with only four checkers off, uh, I think you've got to have uh, Gagura as a favorite now. Yes, yes, the computer confirms Gagura has gone seventy percent favorite, and it won't be long before we see a four cube. Five, two. Yeah, I don't want to give the double twos. He's afraid of the jokers. So Why play for him? What a terrific first game in this final, uh, Carter. We've seen everything. We've seen a cube. We've seen a hit in the bear off. We've we've seen we've seen hits in the in the bring round, and now we may even see a recube to four. Let's hope Gagger was not leading it too late. This is no crime to cube this, no He doesn't even look at it. I think a builder for the five on the five point. Well, he just wants to flood the outfield uh, with control. Such that in case Sean Casey does roll a, a 2 5 or 2 6, surely he can double this now. Uh, I Come don't on, know he's what a, he's he, waiting he's, for. He's, he's more than a 3 to 1 favorite here. Wow. Yep, he's close out. Board, and now he's lost the market. Yep. Now this is a pass. Yep, big pass. And Sean is probably very grateful that he wasn't cubed earlier. Should always try to give your opponent something to think about when you cube. Enough rope to hang himself, John? Enough rope to hang himself, yeah. But Sean Casey, I don't know why he's looking at this. He's far too good a player uh, to take this cube. Yeah, it's got to be heartbreaking to pass up this. Um. And Sean Casey correctly passes and trails this 13-point final 0-2.